Alright, should be recording. Can hear. Yes, so I'm back to Dark Size 2 because it has been a busy week, but I finished things up, so it's like, hey, I can come back to this. And, oh yeah, that's right, space. Let's hear this Crowfather say what he's already said so many times. The king's need was exceeded <clears throat> by anger. Those who would help were destroyed. But from their deaths, a new power drawn from sin and an army that would live once more. Alright. So, yeah. Where am I? What am I? I'm trying to go there, apparently. Alright. I honestly, like, so much has just vacated my mind. Wait, where am I going? I'm going over here now. You, you can follow the bird, it tells you, but it's just... But what are you doing? Stop that. You know what? I'm just going to go... Well, hang on. Is there a jewel up there? No, there isn't. There it is. Okay. I'm going to turn it that way. Hopefully there's not like a boss fight or something. I don't feel like that. I, I don't have an excuse of just work or anything to keep me from keep me from doing this game, but it still is a uh... Alright. <clears throat> and I do have some news, but I, I don't have much written up. I've been busy with various things. Uh, um, one I can actually talk about because that uh, embargo date came up already. And two. There. Uh... The fourth thing has got a uh, Zen 3 support for 400 series chipset, so AMD did decide to uh, to change that, their policy on that. Mafia Trilogy, Series Sam 4, and then Saints Row the Third to be mastered. All right, so I'll start with the the Zen stuff. So, uh, geez, how long ago was it now that the Ryzen 3 3000 series CPUs were? Oh, I've got to mute that. I, I forgot to mute my watch. Um, that definitely looks like a boss fight, so I'm going to wait for just a little bit. Um, so when those the Ryzen 3 3000 uh, CPUs were released, there was also a slide that basically said that, yeah, B450, X470 won't be supporting uh, Ryzen 4000, the Zen 3-based uh, chips. And people got really upset about that, and apparently AMD said, Okay, we did not realize people were going to be that upset, so we're going to make it happen. We don't know how, we're going to figure that out, but we'll make it happen so that now um, there will be Zen 3 support in some way for B450 and X47. So congratulations, community, you have won. I don't think I'm going to be happy. Uh-huh. Behind him is the dead city. Ow. Wrong button. Ow, ow. Well, that didn't take long. How am I, I I don't... I'm not sure what the strategy is for him. Um, next thing I got in there is the Mafia Trilogy, which I have Mafia 2. I've never played it. I don't even remember if I've ever installed it. Um, I think I did install the... Was there a demo for it? I think I might have looked at that one. I was not going to skip this. Um, but yeah, so Mafia 2 and 3 are already out. Well, Mafia 2 Defender Edition and Mafia 3 Defender Edition are both out. That's neat. Um, and if you had Mafia 2 already on Steam, you got the Definitive Edition free, so I now have that. Um, and uh, ah, that does seem pretty cheap, right? The whole, the, the, it, it, the backhand. 
That basically Mafia 3, your Mafia 3 copy would just be upgraded to the Trinity Edition. So it's not like you would um, uh, suddenly get two versions. Ah, oh, man, I didn't realize that was going to happen. Um, um, but really, the big news for it is the. Um, Wow, that camera wants me dead. Um, it is what they're doing for the original Mafia game. Because that Definitive Edition will be out... I didn't... I don't remember. I don't remember and I don't have it written down. Um, but that is uh, August, I think. I don't remember when in August, specifically, but... But, um... Yeah, so that that won't be, be out until August. Um, but that is a like complete rebuild, they said. Round of rebuild, which as, as I put in the press release basically means that yeah, this is they, they made a new game. Yeah, they they had reference material they go to, so pre production made it easier. But we are talking about a new game. That That is how that should be interpreted. It should not be thought of as... This, oh, the, the, it's a remaster. No. No. The, you can't... And I, did I make that point or did I cut it out? I don't remember. I t it, it, with um, the Unreal Engine 5 stuff, it was mentioned there that they wanted to make sure it was backwards compatible. 4? Especially since 4's already got support for at least some of the... Um, uh, next-gen consoles. I understand it was like going from Unreal Engine 3 to 4 was a pain. That, that, that was not a simple, oh, drag and drop thing. No, you need to rebuild assets for that. And that would also be true of going from whatever the original engine was for Mafia to the, uh, I have wrong button. I had that now. Um, to the Mafia 3 engine. Like, that they... I'm guessing, at least, that they are having to basically just rebuild that completely. So, yeah, it, it's not a... I'm just gonna do this for now. In no way is it a small task. So... Yeah, I applaud them, though. That, that's awesome that... Uh, Hano 17, is that the name of it? that developer, I applaud them that they are doing this effort, because that it is, as I said, not a small effort, that is a big effort that they are, that they are committing to, or actually they would have already done a fair amount of it. I mean, the fact that he's so tall, you can't hit him most of the time, which is kind of damaging. doesn't feel good. But, well, there's another things in this game that haven't felt right. I, I, I just mean this design is really stupid. 
the whole, oh yeah, you, you half the time have no way of attacking him and doing damage. It's like, why? That, that, that seems, oh, here we go. Some kind of problem. Um, let me see if there was a serious him for that guy announcement. That's, that's an August release. At least we have a release month for what I think is the situation there. Um, I'm sure it's going to be more of the skeleton popping out soon. Um, yeah, and probably the highlight of that for a lot of people was just the Legion system, which you can even have a hundred thousand enemies on screen for that game. Which I'm only left thinking from that. So, um, how much ammo are you going to be able to carry? And I really hope I'm not the only one who thinks that. It's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, serious Sam, 100,000 enemies. Okay, that, that's one level. Um, but I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe that'll just be like a graphics thing, not an actual gameplay thing. Man, I am gonna die here, because I cannot keep from getting hit because of, oh, let's lock you in place. I, I, nope. There. Uh... That's what I'm using. Pretty sure this... Yeah. The health, the health leech on it is so helpful. Ow. Yeah, this camera sucks. I mean, I, th this is... Wow, that was sheer unbalanced. <laughs> it's like, let's have a horde of enemies smashing you. A camera that, to watch them, you cannot see what the big guy's doing, and then it just slams on you. It's like, how about not? Yeah, space bar. So the last thing I want to talk about is Saints Row 3 Remastered, which I can't talk about. Because that actually released yet, but today. Releases today. This goes out on Saturday, though, so yesterday. Um, but I'll try to wait on that until I have somehow beat him, which I doubt is going to happen in time. You know what? Let me actually do that. I'm going to look this up. I'm looking up the boss, because I'm just curious. Sometimes you can find out if there's a strategy. Uh, I hate that. Okay, um... Okay. That sucks. 
Skeletons will appear for phase two, which I was in. Skeletons will appear as you fight him and will summon ghoul serpents from the ground and attack you, delaying the amount of time you can uh, cause damage to him. Uh... I'm not liking those boss fights. I mean, it's just... I'm sorry, it's... It's weird design, the whole... Let's have a mountain of health on this guy. And limit your ability to it to damage. It's like... How about one or the other? Why has it gotta be both? And, and it's also the camera sucks. that the wrong time. Um, but yeah, the camera sucks. It, it, it has sucked the entire game. It, it just, it continues to suck. That it, you basically can't have you of enough at the same time, and it's also really stupid, the whole um like when you back out enough, it's like suddenly the camera's f pushed forward because there's a wall. It's like, how about we don't have that wall there? <laughs> what is, who designed it this way? <laughs> Actually, my guess is whoever designed it was somebody who was playing with the controller slash on console. So it's like you know, they're constantly controlling the camera directly. That would be my guess. But it's just the lock on camera sucks. I'm only a full, I was only a holding S to move back, and both dodges he goes look right and then left. In no way was that correct, but it's exactly what he did. is no, no, you, you don't allow that. <laughs> Cause that that just hurts the player. It serves no real purpose. But I, I would also say that you're screwing up by having the whole certain movements being tied to the position of death instead of being connected to the camera. So like the whole how I had um I was locked onto him, so S moving back away from him was left and right on the screen. It's like I can't control the orientation of death at all times. I can control the camera more often. And it's also that's my view. It's camera left, camera right that I can that I am oriented by, not death left, death right. So it doesn't make sense to have certain things tied to death instead of the camp. Alright, that 
shrinking. thinking, oh yeah, th this is completely fair. It's like, no, the camera is a bigger boss than the enemy. Bigger enemy than the boss, but it still works. It's also really awkward, this camera here, because the camera pivots on his center which is the center of the arena. But death moves relative to where the marker is on the end, on the boss. So when the head moves, his orientation changes, but the camera doesn't move. It, it's very bad peak orchestrated view, how, how, how the camera's hand. into phase two here. Yeah, like right now, how I can't see where death is because the camera decides to pull in because there's a wall behind me. That, no, no. I'm sorry. That That's a... My use of QA experience is saying, yeah, no, that's a bug and that needs to be fixed because you can't ship with an experience like that. Because that, that there's there's no excuse. That that is just going to annoy infuriate and hurt players. So why don't we do it in a way that's better? Where it's like we just I mean, you should be able to have objects be like camera placement invisible. You know, it's like how things are going transparent at least, if not completely invisible. Um, when they're between death and the camera. You could, you should be able to do something like that where it's a, yeah, the, it doesn't force the camera in. It being the, the camera just goes through it and it becomes invisible. That should be possible. And I just feel like, yeah, it, it really should be doing that.
finally it decided that, oh yeah, you mean the lockdown is literally the only enemy in the arena. Um, I don't think he actually hit me there. I'm sorry, but I was dodging out of the way. let him clear out the skeletons and just running. Ow. Oh wait, no, he didn't hit me there. Somehow. I couldn't move. I couldn't move. It locked me in place. I had no ability to move there. It, it, it. My health, thank less. No way to heal, and still plenty of health on boss, but fortunately that man should shred through him fast enough that I, I made it. Whew. Was that three or four attempts? I know it was at least. Ah, yeah. Oh, wait, that... Okay, yeah, so this is actually a DLC thing. So maybe I will do that at some point. Hang on. Save. You not want even by accident to have to do that over again. Alright, so last bit of news I gotta talk about is Saints Row the Third Remastered, which I did get to play. I got an early access key. And the main thing I would say that I think most people would care about, yes, the gameplay feels just like the original, at least as I recall. I you feels call. exactly like Profiler, I am the one you seek. And where else would I be but the City of the Dead? Would you like to ask a question? Or just stand there like you've seen a ghost. How about why there's no subtitle? Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. And you are a ghost. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power. The key to life and death. Of creation itself. And that is why the Well has a key of its own. One that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half. And the demons the other. And never shall the two meet. Unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you 
once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again and go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption, and he will unmake all of creation. We would have a jump here. The balance. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. Yeah, not and really. in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well. Leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls? Yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin, to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead, by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? Alright. Uh... Nope, not that. This... Uh... And there it is. What? Why would it be on a loop? Not so fast, horseman. You're following me. So I am. I will remain here at the tree, should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> and dust has a beak for more than corpses, horseman. Follow him, and you will find the key. Follow dust, find the key? Can't be that easy, Crowfather. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. Okay. Uh, wait, no. So, that's back to the main. Yeah, so you need to... Well, I mean... The angelic key on the right, that's the portal, and then demon key on the left. It's that portal, but that unlocks light. Cause that that one actually gets interesting because that involves time travel. So it's um I guess one way to look at it would be sort of the water temple. In in how you have to manipulate things. So anyway, going back. Saint So uh the the third remastered, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um and it, it felt just like the original game. It really did. Which to me is good, because I enjoyed the original a lot, so yeah. If you like that as well, I think that, that that's that's good there. Um, now, I didn't do a review of it. I did a performance analysis. Hopefully that won't won't uh, take too long to get through editing and be put up. But basically, I, I don't think anybody's going to mind if I say this. Basically, every GPU I have handled it fine at its highest preset, its highest configuration, with the exception of the GTX 770. That I had to turn everything down. But everything, the, the GTX 980 and up, the RX 580 and up, yeah. Right, what do I want to upgrade here?
I am not sure. No, I should probably actually upgrade this. Oh, I have three points. Wow, I didn't realize that. Um, okay. I've been going? Not quite 40 minutes. I, I'm perfectly comfortable with, with stopping soon. To be honest. I but, you know, get, get through this place. setup. Where have you taken me? This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their schemes. Or so they hoped. The well has power over all life. It does. Though I suspect there is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. The four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. The Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. They needed to stay dead. Then the well can bring them back. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the font of all life. Angel, demon, mankind, even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos. And from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them. All right. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be worth riding in, meeting people, basically. I I, I don't want to like get started into into a level, but into a dungeon, but um, yeah. Unfortunately, my memory of things after this really is spotty. I, mean, I know we meet a new angel here who is not exactly pleased to see you, I want to say. Eh? I'm not entirely sure what that was. There was certainly something up there. Something over here. I think I will pull open the map. Get a look at things here. Oh yeah, I might as well. Oh yeah, I think I do remember that though. That this is actually fairly, fairly small. Let's look back here. Algrim. Perfect. Over Thing. here. Fresh merchandise. Or not. I was hoping I'd be able to um, buy some potion. Could use some more help. Looks like a 
with the upgrade. I'm sure Baldwin has the key, and he will not part with it lightly. Let me just go back and talk to him. I think I've seen another door like that somewhere else, and I just didn't investigate. You know, there's another thing, um, because uh, I talked about when it was first announced. Chex Quest HD is now out on Steam, and it's free. I was actually thinking I would maybe use that for this, Fresh merchandise. but I uh, decided, nah. Alright. This is no place for all. Although, can I just talk to him? Is there a way to just talk? Nope. Come closer. It's shop or nothing. I, I I just I don't even remember how to get that key, but I'm not gonna worry about it for now. Um but yeah, Chuck's Quest HD's out. I was thinking maybe do that for this as part of me wants to do it as a review. I got another idea I could do with it. I don't know. I mean, you need to understand, it's just this one of those childhood memory things, and it's like, well, yeah, I mean, of course you want to do something with it now. Oh, hey, there's something here. Actually, this is good, because, well, except I'm going to have some kind of encounter here, but the serpent statue there, I can get that piece of mail it said I, I have. No, yeah, that doesn't look good. This guy's corrupted. Friends for wound! Oh, I... Hopefully, well, no, it, there's no way in hell to be just these three. That would be appropriate to a degree, but it, it, it's not. This guy is still good. By Abaddon's eye, it is you. To me, quickly. <gasps> Why would you lock onto that one? This is so stupid! <laughs>
Okay, wait, where's the other guy? Why is he not taking on more? I'm, it, it's, yeah, I, I, I was completely and utterly screwed here. There's no other description. I mean, think about it, there is no source of health pots between that boss fight and here. You need to leave to get them. That's stupid. I mean, it's not general items. I'm sorry, that is a straight up lie. It really is not. It's going to be a little bit faster if I fast travel here and then. But that, that is a straight up lie. He in no way is selling just general items. Because general items, guess what? Includes alone. health pots. This is no place for all. What are you talking about? This is exactly a place alone. for all. I was using one great. earlier. I was using him earlier. For all. <gasps> I have to go alone. Wow, is this ever screwed up? And hang on. Let me also just check. Could I have? Yeah, I could have. I just didn't see it because it's... It's not that great a mess. But I need to leave. Doesn't really matter which one of the other two I go to, but I need to go to a different place so that I can then get health because they don't have something here to let you get it. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to stop. I mean, it's, no. It's just, no. But yeah, there is flow problems with this, but it's like, no, we, for one thing, Volgrim, nah, he, he can always, he, he always and forever has the ability to sell you health pots. It, th there's never a time that he can't. Um, so that, there's that. And mm, no, y y you also don't get to have a situation where you can come out of a boss fight and not restock. And not even have, like, even just have a chest there that gives you it. I mean, it's like, no, we're not going to do that either. We're going to actually let there be a flow so that when you get from point A to point B, you're prepared for point B after having endured point A. It's also really weird, I want to say, just the whole concept that th these um, these traders have a limited number of you health saved spots. Our, but only time for I I'm skipping. If it leads out, what was old is new again. Yeah. I would not burden you, horseman. I mean, it just it, it is weird, right? Does anyone disagree with that? There we go. Let's 
save and quit. Which else one check? Where is it that I can access the the Makers Ford? No, the Abyssal Ford. That's it. Is that here? Yeah, here. Not not gonna do that for now. But uh yeah. So quit our desktop and uh I'll be done. See you next week, I think. I don't I don't think there's gonna be anything to stop me, but I don't know. Think random things can just come up. Alright. See you next time.